Or good morning. Woo! This is a weird conference. <laughs> it's a weird conference. It's a conference put on by people who actually care about the conference. There's not a lot of those. Usually you go to a conference because it's a chance to get out of the office, and then you hear some people talk for a while, and then you go out, and then you go home. And so this is a little bit different because it's put on by the people who actually care about the content in the conference, and the people that are here are the people going to tell you about what the content is in the conference. So I was very excited for the opportunity to come and kick off DEF because it's something different to me. Uh, I spend a lot of my year traveling around the country talking at very stale events. And so I'm here for something different. So I apparently got pranked on the dress code. Um, it specifically said, Ben, punk rock attire, no blazer, no collared shirts, all right? So joke's on me. You guys win. You got me, all right? All right, so you got me. So good news is I have a very stale brief for you, so I'll make sure I keep it in line with, with the dress code that actually was, all right? <laughs> so I was asked to come here and kick off DEF 2019 with a culture piece. And my culture piece here is stories from the trenches, culture change uh, in national security. So I'll try not to bore you too much, but we got a lot of content to get through. So I'm going to start plowing through it, starting with the agenda. Starting with the agenda. I'm going to click here until it doesn't work. Starting with the agenda. <laughs> Physically moving, it worked. All right. So when I think of stories from the trenches, culture change in national security, um, the items that I want to cover, if this clicker isn't going to work, I'll just say click. <laughs> Holy crap, that worked. All right. First, we're going to talk about execution of other transactions through public-private partnerships. Click. <laughs> Multi-party agreements. This is going to get old. I have a lot of building to do. This is going to get really old really quick. Okay, oh, there we go. I'm going to talk about Agile principles and procurement function application. Next. Oh, user error. User error. Intellectual property principles, federal procurement, supply chain fidelity in federal procurement. I mean, these issues should be uh, pretty in depth. I've got a lot of data for us to look at. Um, examination of time drivers and PALT, procurement administrative lead time. Uh, I, maybe I'm dysfunctional. Layering of alternative acquisition authorities. That's popular right now. Okay. <laughs> the economics of category <laughs> management. <laughs> Sir, why are you laughing? He was telling me a joke. Okay. Oh, we're going to do statistical analysis of... <laughs> Hello? Hey, Ben. <laughs> oh, hey, Michael, Service Naval Warfare Officer and Lead Coordinator for DEF 2019. What's up? Hey, well, I, I don't know if you know this, but uh, I am putting together DEF 2019 this year. Ben, you there? Oh, really? That's awesome. How can I help? Yeah, well, the, um, well, the community, we're really interested in uh, getting you out to speak. Uh, so I wanted to see if, you know, could you support in late September? Be Michael Madrid, service name of blah, 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 lead coordinator for DEF 20. I specifically said lead coordinator for DEF 2019. Wait, what? The, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking DEF September. Cool. Got it. Yeah, I'm thinking you could like kick off the whole event, you I know, really light a fire definitely. under their behinds. <laughs> Did he say behinds? 
All right, so um, deaf, September, yeah, yeah, light, light fire, got it. Thanks for thinking of me, Melvin. Hey, what's up? Awesome. Hey, Ben. It's Patrick. Hey, Patrick. What's up? <laughs> what's up? I just got off the phone with Mike Madrid. Not sure if you know, but he's coordinating DEF 2019. <laughs> yeah, tracking. Well, he needs your bio and your charts. Bio and charts for what? Bio and charts for your kickoff session. Stories from the trenches, implementing culture change and national security. Yeah, not tracking. Haha, <laughs> good one. So, can you send those charts over to Michael today? Yeah, no worries. Just bio and charts. Yep, that's all he needs. Okay, yeah, I'll send it over to Melvin by COB. It's Michael. <laughs> okay, Ben, don't panic. What did Michael say? Uh, I was think. Said something about behinds. That's not helpful. It's not helpful. Um, all right, go to the website. I'll figure out what this deaf thing's all about. Okay. Sorry. A theme. Oh, God, it's got a theme. Engaged, empowered. Come on. It's like rainbows and unicorns. All right, then concentrate. What can I talk about? Okay, I'll do recruiting people in the DOD. That's my thing. Everybody knows I'm the recruiting guy. Ah, but Joy and Joe are already talking about that. Organic software development. I'm that software guy, right? Except they got Adam for that. That's not going to work. Venture capital and dual use. That's obviously me. Except you got Peter Dixon, and the problem with that is he's got that awesome picture with the Golden Gate in the background. There's <laughs> so much credibility. I can do defense industrial base, but they've got Molly and Lauren doing that. Oh, man. Diversity? No, Michael. Quantum computing? That's definitely me. Knudsen! <laughs> All right. Shaping culture. Ah, Sean Heritage, that's snooty Sean Heritage. Artificial intelligence, no, Michael. Alternative acquisition, that's me. I'm the alternative acquisition guy. Except they're bringing Hannah. Okay, what can I talk about? What makes deaf different to me? What makes deaf different to me? What makes deaf different to me? What can I talk about? Aha! I'll talk about the people. I'm the people guy. That's what I'll do. Okay, so I take stories from the trenches. I scratch that out, right? And I make it people or relationships or something. And then I get rid of the big title that I have. And I go, hey, I'm just Ben McMartin. I'm people guy who does stuff. And then I get a picture of me on like a, a, a line with some birds. And we're all friends. And then I'm going to need pictures. We need lots of pictures and we need a lot of stories about deaf. And I'll start with, I'll start with Naval Post Grad School. And after that, we went to our first drink and think. And then that's where we met Yolanda. And then Brandon and Patrick were there. And then that's where we met Knudsen. But it's also where we met David. And then we went to that other drink and think. And then David and I became best buds forever. And then we went to Space and Missile Center. And that's where we got those awesome masks. 
And, and then we had another drink and think, and that's where we met Jer and Melanie, and, and we brought MJ, and we, and we brought Captain Witchman, and then he went on to form Deaf Dayton. <sighs> or we can talk about Relis. And the time we went to Relis, and we had that awesome robot rodeo, and we saw all those cool robot control vehicles, and Sergeant Palomino was there. And you might not remember, but Sergeant Palomino had always been there. He was there from the beginning. <laughs> there he is right there. He's the other bald guy from California. And then Molly was there, and Patrick was there in tween. And, and, and then we did the other deaf drinking thing with College Station. And all the guys from Austin came up. And then we met with everybody from Texas A&M. <sighs> or maybe we'll just talk about Tampa and what we did at Tampa. And we met everybody, and we did that other transaction, Joint Acquisition Agility Summit. And then Lori Ann was there, and Gina was there, and Mike wasn't there, but that's an old picture of Mike, and I just wanted to show it. And <laughs> then there was TEDxDAU, and it was really DEFXDAU, because everyone that talked was from DEF, and, and Ryan was there, Josh was there, and, and then we met David Schiff, and then, oh, this panel has nothing to do with anything I'm talking about, but look how smiley everyone was. It's the only panel in the history where people enjoyed themselves for a change. And then Larson and Will and Maddie came to Tardek, and, and we had the pitch day, and then the Navy guys and STXL came out to Detroit, and we went to a baseball game, and <sighs> there's so many people that make up deaf that I have to appreciate. I don't know how I'll get all those pictures in there, and I'll call it deaf, the common thread for collaboration and national security. Oh, I love that. Or I'll call it deaf, bringing the leaders in defense innovation together. Or I'll call it death. It's all rainbows and unicorns. <laughs> It'll be the single greatest deaf kickoff presentation of all time. <sighs> so I just need some pictures, and I need some stories, and I need to make some charts. <sighs> but man, I got two weeks to go. I mean, it's not really a rush, right? I mean, he don't need these charts for like the day before. <laughs> Michael, uh, hey, buddy. You there? Hey, Ben. What's up? Yeah, so listen, I owe you those charts on that deaf kickoff thing, the whole kickoff deal, and um, hey, I have an amazing idea. You're going to love it. Good. Great to hear. Great to hear. You, uh, you sending your charts now? Yeah, so here's the thing. Um, I had this great idea, all right, and it's all about the people of DEF, and it's all about how when you get in the room with DEF, it's, it's literally the leaders in every area of where national security is going, whether it's acquisition or human resources or technology, um, and it's just going to be loaded with pictures. It's, it's going to be amazing, all right? Um, but here's the thing. Uh, I didn't have any time to make those charts, uh, so for tomorrow, I'm just going to go with uh, the, the trenches thing, and I'll just probably brief off like a title and an agenda, or half an agenda, if that's OK. Sure. Whatever you think is best, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you all for indulging me on the beginning of that kickoff. DEF 2019, lighting a fire under your behind. New model, we got rid of engaged and empowered. Um, that is a testament to how I actually prepare briefings. Um, I think about them five or six months early, and I have great ideas, and then I scrap all those ideas, and then the night before, I, I crunch charts all night, um, which is usually how I do my business. Um, but I am very sincere in talking about what Defense Entrepreneurs Forum brings to the community. There are a lot of groups that represent industry or government. 
Um, I come from the acquisition side, so there are tunnel groups that represent the acquisition side. Um, but DEF is something different. DEF is that connection of people, which is really the element that you need to make things change. Um, so I, I do hate conferences, I do hate panels, although I'm gonna do two of them here. Um, and I hate them for a reason. Everyone goes on travel or you go to one of these events and as soon as you get back, where, where are my government folks, by the way? Where, where are my government, civilian or military? Okay. And in industry? Yeah, more industry. So I'm sure it's the same on the industry side. You get back from that conference, especially if someone paid for it, and uh, they're like, oh yeah, hey, you're back. What exactly do you do out there on your weekend with those deaf people? Right? And what are they looking for? They're looking for, well, I went there and I learned this thing that I'm going to immediately apply to everything we do and I'm going to save time and dollars, right? Because that's, that's a reasonable thing for going to a conference, right? Hey, good news. I went to the conference. I sat on a panel. People drove a truckload of money up to me and we have a million dollars worth of requirements. Let's go. Um, that's how every conference goes, right? Every, you, every conference you go to, you leave, you leave with a million dollars in your pocket, right? I, I mean, that's how I do it. I don't know how you guys do it. So I'm going to give a challenge to you guys today for the kickoff. All right? Play the long game. Play the long game. Um, my team has built our relationships and the business we do on giving everything we have to everybody and not expecting anything in return. And over time, it all comes back to you, and it will. So today, instead of coming back with, I went to the Deaf Conference and I got this thing, I want you to concentrate on meeting the folks here in the room throughout the next three days and say, I went to that Deaf Conference and I gave away this thing. Find somebody that you can help with your skill set, what you understand, what you bring to the table, and figure out a way to give a piece of yourself away over the next three days. All right, just one person, don't, call, tell, don't walk up to everybody you know and say, let me give you something, all right? That's not gonna be good, all right? So find one person over the next three days that you can give something to do. Help them out, make a connection, introduce them to somebody, show them a process that you've been successful with. Um, but make sure you do it while you're here because that's really what DEF does. Um, DEF connects people. That's how you become engaged and empowered, by giving away what you have. Um, if you came here expecting to get something, you probably had the wrong mindset coming into the building. So now that I got what I wanted, um, I'm ready to give away to, to you folks today. Um, I wasn't expecting to do any questions, and so I won't. <laughs> All right, I will tell you one thing though before I get off the stage, because I have an inflated self of you know, state of uh, ego, is this is deaf, man. You guys got to jack it up a level, all right? Adam knows what I'm talking about, all right? He wore a hat. David knows what I'm talking about, all right? Newton's got some, some crazy socks on. We're good there. Gino, Gina's going with the, the yellow and the purple. Represent, all right? You might want to lose the jackets at some point. You don't have to if you're comfortable in the jackets. I also brought a, a safety jacket, by the way. It's hanging on the, on the hanger back there. Safety jacket, in case someone was like, you do not belong here. I'm like, nope, jacket, I belong here. What's up? All right. All right, you're going to have to crank it up a level for deaf. This is not the conference. This is not the NDIA conference, all right? You're not sitting there going, oh, my boss told me to make sure I don't ask any questions because I don't want to give our position away. So I'm going to listen to what everyone else says and hope they ask a question because then I'm going to get their information. <laughs> all right, that is not this conference. We are here to share. So when some, someone says something crazy up here, um, please ask them a question. Get to know them. You are on a mission to find out what you can give away. You better find out something about somebody. All right? That's all I'm going to say. I don't know you, sir, with the glasses, but I like your look. I, I shaved so we wouldn't be twins today. So I, I, we coordinated well there. I like it. All right. Off to the next thing. Thank you very much.